And where do we find Megan and Harry next? In Los Angeles. Yep, they want peace so bad, they went to LA. The number one place for fame and fortune. You've, You've reached, reached Exposing, Exposing SMG. SMG. I'm Angela. And I'm Alana. And we run a celebrity news blog where we uncover celebrity secrets and give you the inside scoop. Hey everyone and welcome back to Exposing SMG. Today we are going to be talking about how Meghan Markle's plan is crumbling. For those of you who do not know, Meghan Markle is no angel. And trust me, I was once fooled by her charisma and charm. But with a little bit of research and a little bit of inside information, I got to see that Meghan Markle is a fraud. Now, for those of you, you may be confused and wondering what kind of plan would she have and why would it be crumbling? I'm here to explain to you exactly that. So first off, let's talk about how Meghan got Prince Harry. This is going to be a brief video. If you guys want in detail, I already have a video about that right here on my channel. And I even have a second video about Meghan Markle and her possible obsession with Princess Diana. It's actually really good because um, people from her old life like come out and talk about how she was obsessed with Princess Diana and Meghan when she was on her interview with Harry, Prince Harry, like when they first got engaged, she was like, oh, I had no idea. I didn't know anything about the royal family, blah, blah, blah. But then like people came out and were like, no, she was obsessed. So I think that's really funny. So go check that out. Now, step one of Meghan's plan was to get Prince Harry. She used Harry's weakness for his mother as a way to benefit herself. And one thing she did was search up the exact perfume Princess Diana wore and wore it all the time around him when she was first talking to him so that she can psychologically play a trick on his mind to kind of give off this homey feel. She basically wanted him to psychologically feel attached to her without realizing why. She then played on his unconscious mind by making him feel safe and understood the way he would have if his mom was still around. She also pretended to believe in the same things she did. One of those things was poverty in Africa. And I remember when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were first meeting, she gave him this entire story about how she would love to spend like six to 12 months in Africa, saving the kids and doing all this charity work the way that he liked to do and just give back the way Princess Diana taught them to do. So she would do things that reminded him of his mom so that unconsciously he always looked at her and felt like she was home. And honestly, if you believe that Meghan never had a plan with Harry, do you really think that Meghan Markle, an actress from Los Angeles, California, wanted to spend the rest of her life following Harry's family's vacation traditions, or even moving to Africa to cuddle starving orphans, or honoring the military of a country she cares nothing about, or being in the shadows of Kate Middleton? I think not. She had a plan, and she executed it the minute he gave her a ring. So this is how Meghan wanted her plan to go. She was first going to marry Prince Harry. Second, she was going to be part of the royal family for a few months really kind of set her foot in there, make it look like she tried working things out with the family, do a bunch of press with his family and all that. Third, she was going to somehow talk about how she wasn't being accepted in the family, British media is too harsh, blah, 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 blah. After that, they moved to Canada. Now, Canada is a perfect place to go to if you kind of want peace. They go to Canada for some privacy. And if they stayed in Canada, I would have been down on the floor, wiping Megan's shoes, going, I am so sorry for thinking you were anything but a saint. But that's not what happened. Because you can take the girl out of Hollywood, but you can't take Hollywood out of the girl. And where do we find Megan and Harry next? In Los Angeles. Yep, they want peace so bad, they went to LA. The number one place for fame and fortune. There's a video of Meghan and Harry at the Lion King premiere and Harry is telling Bob Iger, the Disney CEO, oh, you know she does voiceovers.
she ends up signing a voiceover deal with Disney for the film Elephant. Now, the first few months, Megan thinks her plan is working out perfectly. She got Harry away from his family. She has the American support of a uh, British royal family might have been racist to her. So, you know, Americans were eating that up and she brought him over and they even had a child. So he was definitely tied down with her. She got a voiceover deal with one of the biggest filmmaking companies in the world, Disney. So things seem to be going so well, how does it possibly fail? Well, one of the reasons that it fails is that Meghan no longer has a royal title. And suspended or not, that royal title made her different in the eyes of a regular celebrity. Without it, she was no different than a C-list actress. And to add on to that, people did not value her the way she thought they would. And Megan went from like a D-list actress on a famous Canadian show to A-list name recognition. Like everybody kind of knew who she was at this point. Like they know she's married to a royal, whatever. But then when you bring that royal to America, a place that is not governed by royals, what is his purpose there? And suddenly without the royal wall, the celebrities that give you all their time are starting to look at you as an average actress. And why is it so hard to transition from royal to a successful celebrity? Because the industry is a lot harder to break into than most people think. And Meghan definitely got a push being married to Prince Harry and all that, but it didn't last because Hollywood got bored. So basically what I've been told and what we can kind of see from how things are going, Meghan is basically the social climber and her entire relationship with Harry was based on one thing, to get more famous and then to separate him from his family and then establish their own empire. So actually three things. And this is so disappointing because I was rooting for them, but it's fine. It's one thing you gotta learn. Can't trust any celebrity. And people have said that Megan did everything in her power to climb to the top. And once you showed that you weren't any use to her, she wanted nothing to do with you. Because you can take the girl out of Hollywood, but you can't take Hollywood out of the girl. Once you could not benefit her, she would drop you. She did not need you anymore. And once Megan got to the top, she clearly abused the powers she wasn't used to having. Renovating a cottage on palace property for over 2.4 million, knowing that you were gonna leave anyways, abusing the private jets for non-royal duty while preaching about environmental justice. I mean, come on. It was obvious she wasn't used to these luxuries in her B-list acting career. So she had to enjoy it when she became a royal. And Megan literally had no interest in royal duty. She only played nice for a few months before she could get Harry and hop out of the country. And her only concern was making it big in Hollywood. And right now, Harry and Meghan are living in Los Angeles. And Meghan is not the Anne Hathaway she thought she was going to be. Um, if anything, they're both kind of struggling. When I say struggling, it has to do with the fact that Meghan is not this huge, respected, A++ list actress as she thought. And Harry is actually struggling social wise. I mean, he doesn't know anybody in Los Angeles. It's a cold day in hell if you have to rely on Meghan Markle to bring you friends. I mean, what is she gonna do? Bring the only two people that could say good things about her? Anyway, things got tough when Meghan failed to realize that it's not that easy to break into the industry, especially if you're already looking suspicious and controversial enough. And I'll never forget when Disney said, that Disney doesn't need Megan, Megan needs Disney. And they were talking about how controversial she was and that the only reason they were kind of giving her this deal was to play nice with Harry. What happened instead was that nobody in LA cared about them. Producers were not willing to stretch a mile for Megan and if anything, she is now in legal battles that she's about to be losing with the British and American press. Over at ExposingSMG.com, we even talk about a possible divorce happening between the two, which I think would just be crazy. So keep up with us as we are keeping up with Prince Harry and Meghan's possible downfall. And as this goes along and we start to see more and more of Meghan's downfall, I think it's pretty safe to say it will be one interesting hell of a story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if they do get a possible divorce, what do you think is going to happen to Harry? I think Meghan will be seen as a fraud <laughs> and Harry probably will be accepted back to the royal family. Uh, that's what I'm hoping.
Let me know your comments down below and if there's anything else you want me to talk about and I'll see you next time.